Well, I made a mess out of this canvas. Well, I'm messing with this canvas, so I gotta do something about it. And I'm gonna play some more with these colors from Primary Elements because they're really pretty. And I add another primary element in there just to jazz it up a bit. So let's get started. Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence. Okay, I'm doing some practice work in here and trying to get some work done on my acrylic pouring. Um, Tish Winter has been showing me the ropes here. And with it, like any new medium, you gotta practice, practice, practice. So I'm messing around with a mix right now, and that's my pouring medium. Uh, and the colors, uh, since I have not mixed up, it's hard to show you the bottles. These are all primary elements right here. And this one is sky blue. Let's see. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of these or not. But this is golden. This is the exception. Actually, there might be two exceptions. Uh, uh, golden fluid. And this is interference violet. Uh, so these bunches are primary elements. And this is ginger flower. Uh, this color is stunning. Um, and this one is wine and roses. This one is, okay, focus, there we go. Boysenberry, and it's a gorgeous uh, purple. It's a little bit more red than what's shown in the picture right now. Just a little bit. And then this one is daffodil, and it's a very bright, bright yellow. And I think what I'm gonna do is surround that yellow with maybe some white and some gold so it's not doesn't go to mud that's what i'm kind of thinking i don't know so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do another flip cut and layer these guys up oh yeah i do have some amsterdam white that's already in the bottle that i'm going to be using too i forgot to add that in there oh and <laughs> apparently i'm forgetting a lot of things the other color is my gold, and that's the 24K karat gold uh, Extreme Sheen. And that's going definitely in the mix here. Let's see. I'm trying to think of where it starts out first. Right, and then... I'm gonna go dark and build up to bright. Yep. I think that's how I'm gonna work this out. Yep. And I think I'm gonna have a lot more of the lighter colors in here just to give it some more contrast. Oh, I'm thinking of living on the wild side there, but I'm not sure. All right, I did not mix up my gold ahead of time. Oops, a nasty little blob there. Just a little bit of punch of color.
Well, that's pretty just like it is. I like how this gold like spar or spreads out like that. That's cool. All right, let me get this covered up with some white and we'll get started. All right. So I usually like with resin, when I do my dirty pours, I like to have it something on the base of the canvas or tray or something like that, that the colors can glide over. I find I lose less colors. I'm more familiar with moving it around in that kind of environment. So I'm hoping the same pulls through with doing acrylic pouring. At least it makes sense to me. Maybe if it just makes sense to you, that's all that matters and that you're more confident with doing, doing the stuff. All right. So tonight we've got a fun thing going on uh, on the Artist Haven. And she's doing a year uh, kind of anniversary with uh, Artapalooza. So I hope you guys were able to join in. Now granted this video is going to be coming out after that has come out. And hopefully I don't embarrass myself. <laughs> the last one we did every time somebody snorted we all took a drink while we were doing artwork wise. And uh, my son was making margaritas and made them really strong and I'm a lightweight. And Well, let's just say everybody went for a tour of my garage. I showed off the bikes. I got really loud. It was not good. <laughs> so hopefully I'm not that bad. Because, uh, yeah, I definitely felt the, uh, the side effects of all that stuff later that evening. And that wasn't fun. And if anybody's had too much to drink, they, I'm sure... I don't need to explain any more of that. So, all right, let me clear some of this extra material out and I'll be right back. All right, here we go. All right, that's how it's looking so far. And we're going right there. Harry. So I encourage you guys to watch other artists um, especially, you know, some in the areas that you're working with or others in maybe uh, other mediums that are similar but a little bit different. Uh, I was watching a friend of mine last night uh, who also messes around with uh, resin. Her name is Rhonda Draculis and from RK3 Designs. And she did a live. I missed the live. I was just watching the recording of it. And uh, while she was going through it and just doing her thing, I got an idea for a technique to give it a try while watching it. And I like just pause the video real quick and jotted down my idea as far as to try this out. So I'm maybe messing with that after this. So you never know where ideas can come from. All right, here we go. Those were a bunch of fun colors there. Turned out rather pink, considering all the purple I had in here. I had a lot of white, too. Yeah, I wonder. I'm tapping into my resin experience here. And I have an idea. I'll make a puddle on the table here of my Amsterdam white and I'm gonna just dip my palette knife in it just a bit if you can see it at the top of the screen there that's what I'm doing there just 
just to pick up before I started stretching it out. my white okay I'm done tinkering around with it That one swipe, I just rolled it off. Oh, I didn't realize I should have moved that other canvas. Crap. Well, this is looking kind of cool. Come on, get to the corner, get to the corner, and... Right there. Seem to get him almost to the corner and stop. I have to, oh, I just touched the canvas. Crap. And that would be the other canvas, <laughs> not this one. All right. I'm digging this. I am digging this. This is cool. Right. Here's the fun part going around and touching everything up. I'm not dripping all over my floors. Which I'm going to do. Oh, I just got my fingers all clean from the other day. <laughs> I know I could wear gloves, but I don't know why with acrylic paints I have a tendency not to. Alright, let's see. Ginormous bubble. Alright, let me bring you guys in. The more I look at this, the more I like it. Oh, this has got enough drama in here to make me happy. There's so much going on. And I think it's got just the right amount of white in there for contrast. 
perfect amount of blends. I am super happy. Excuse me. Those sparkle bits in there. Oh, this is pretty. I was looking for some, some cells, not a lot. So we'll see how this dries. But yeah. I'm stoked. 